pruning our mango trees. They already done most of our mango trees. So here's our one of our mango pruner. Filipino style, no harness, no protective gear. And that's a big tree, that one. This is one of our big trees. Yeah, it's a real big tree. You want to just have a look at the... Uh, Oh, that's my thing. I'll get something else too. So this is the first one we did. And uh, it's a big old tree. They should have been controlled when they were young, but obviously they haven't been. And we've had the farm now for about seven years. We really didn't know anything about, about anything. Farming, obviously chickens. Um, so we're sort of learning as, we're going, as, as we've been going on. The only one thing I sort of have got right by chance when I started looking, researching into permaculture was the swales. And, and they're really working. So that's proven to me that these methods are great. And uh, there's, there's no way I'll be doing anything that's putting chemicals on this place. So we've had one of the young fellas uh, here working. Our trouble is he's been chopping with a machete, um, but it has opened up the middle of the tree to the sun, which is great. Now it's winter. Well, it's actually summer here, so the sun is in the northern hemisphere and it will be, what is it, December, I think it'll be over that way. So in in three months or so, I guess the sun will be heading back over the top here and getting straight in. So I sort of think we've done a pretty good job there. We've sort of lopped off a couple of other lower branches and, you know, things have looked a bit rotten and... But see, some of these, uh, I've been watching some videos this afternoon. So we did this in the morning and me and my wife stood here and sort of, yeah, cut that one, cut that one. And then we left him and uh, we went into local town today. So he's actually um, chopped all the leaves off here and put the, the sticks out there, the same as here, which is great. We asked him to do that. We've got a few there. He hasn't sort of gone to the same effort on the other trees over there. It's a big job, you know, pruning up there. And this is one fellow with a machete and he's just, there's no safety climbing equipment. He's barefoot and shorts and a machete in his hand. That's it. Um, but yeah, he's very short footed. That's what he's doing. Yeah, we'll just, we'll just have to make the best of it and try and tidy it up as best we can. But anyway, we'll see how we're going. We, we might even just well, I don't know. I mean, I know they all need to be done, so we might keep going on them, and that way we can count the trees that we've got. I'll just show you something here. I just noticed. So here, for instance, um, when you're cutting with the machete, it's gone through into here, and of course, the uh, the weight of the branch has then stripped that all back there, and so it's stripped back, and that's what they're saying you don't want to happen because that leaves all of that bare then. So I've got to find hopefully where that came from and actually cut it back here. Cut it back there so that it's clean. Now some of them are fairly clean, that one there. That's probably not too bad, although, you know, even that could be a problem. Don't know. So, we've got a bit of a job ahead of us on Wednesday. We had something to fill in this space here maybe we'd probably chop those off when we were doing something here previous times 
these ones have been chopped off. I think we did it actually to move the bloody chicken sheds down. That's probably what it was. So, uh, 